Life on the farm lately seems to be moving in fast forward. It seems like everything is just growing so quickly, so rapidly. It's moments like this that I'm so grateful for to watch these little baby chicks come out of the coop in the morning and go scratch in the dirt to find some bugs. Everything is just growing so quickly. It seems like just a few days ago that white rooster right there was in an incubator and I was talking about him in this vlog. This is a great surprise. This is from one of the pullets that we hatched early this spring in the incubator. The day started with a pink egg. The mystery of which, which of this, these hens is the mystery pink egg layer. And as quickly as I found that egg, the day seemed to just zip on by and it ended with pink clouds and carrots to horses. Unfortunately, life has been so busy that I haven't been able to make time for the things that are really important to me, like my horse Monty. She has some sore legs and needs to be worked, get some exercise to make her feel better. Even though it's midnight and I'm super tired by this point, I know that in a few months from now, I'll be wishing that we had more days like these. The kittens are doing amazing. They are up to six hours without a bottle and they have been learning how to eat solid food, just very, very little bits and pieces. This one, We've been calling him Little Brother, and we haven't really come up with a formal name for him yet, but it just seems to be something that we call him. He likes to come running as fast as he can when you say, where's Littles? One day I'll get a video of it for you. Hungry little guy. Playing is a hard, hard job when you're this little.
kittens when they are this age they are just beginning to be able to use the bathroom by themselves without stimulation. So I do have a little bit more water in this formula than I normally would and a little bit of rice and uh, baby cereal to help add a little bit more fiber, which has been helping. Tiny full now. And this little baby mm -hmm. is pooping on its own without any help from me even giving himself baths. They freeze up a lot of time during the day now that they're becoming more independent. I'm gonna miss those little blue eyes as he grows. If you have a name suggestion, I'd love to hear it. This one, my friend Jen McCracken at the Manning Veterinary Clinic has decided he looks like a Reggie. And so we've just been calling him Reggie because that's what she was calling him. We don't have a formal name for him either. And if you don't, if you do have some suggestions, we would love to hear what you have to say. This little guy will be rehomed. He has stole the heart of a wonderful veterinary technician. And I'm hoping that he will be very well suited in her home once he's on solid food and weaned off of the bottle. We had a very big victory. This little guy took a big poop all by himself and he is making sure it is good and buried. I just love his enthusiasm. I am happy to report after his vet visit, he is no longer constipated and he's doing just fine. Hey there. Oh, it's a day to get a lot of stuff done. It's finally tolerable out here. The clouds come out, the breeze picked up. It was hot. I am not used to 25 degrees Celsius days or higher. Uh, I know many of you are, but today is a day of getting stuff done. So I'm going to show you what I did today um, while the guys are playing ball. Oh, I just noticed something really pretty. Hold on. How sweet. Chamomile. a black calla lily that is starting to bloom. Very exciting. Today we moved the tables out and I did some weed whacking in there so I can begin rototilling and planting some fall crops for the flower farm and for our pantry. Today I harvested the broccoli or sorry the cauliflower and it was overdue. I really should have harvested it when I said I was going to and it started to loosen off to bolt. I didn't save the greens because they were sort of tough. Um, normally I would like to do something with it, but I felt like the chickens and the baby chicks 
would definitely enjoy a little bit of a treat. So I packed it over to the chicken coop, the little coop where the last batch of chicks that we incubated are living and I threw them some. I decided maybe I will save a little handful of this for the naughty rooster. We have a rooster that I had to lock up into chicken jail. And chicken jail has become the, well, what I call chicken jail is the um, chicken tractor. Just first I wanted to check and make sure all the chicks were there. That little rooster is so cute, the one with the fuzzy pants. That is the Moline rooster and I will be keeping him. But this guy, this guy, I call him Colonel Sanders. He is such an, oh, he's so bad. Um, he's a really sweet docile bird to people, but he was trying to cause some very big harm to the baby chicks that we have running around free range. And then um, I just, he's not very safe to have. He's kind of hormonal crazy. So he is in chicken jail and he will be being processed. I really wish I would have brought a box or the wagon. I'm gonna throw these in the house in some salt water because they have a lot of bugs in them and get them soaking and then I will get them preserved after I'm done outside chores. Before I soak, just wanna see how much it weighs. Whew. Two pounds, 10 ounces or 10.4. Ooh. Ooh, it is bigger. I thought it was smaller. It's just more compact. It's not as loose. 2.9.1. Wow. 1.9.3. So one pound, nine ounces. Nine, one pound, 9.3 ounces. And this guy is one pound, 1.4 ounces, and the teeny tiny one is 10 out, 10.6 ounces. And it's starting to flower. So I'm glad I pulled it. I should have pulled it the other day. So I'm preparing this uh, cauliflower to process for the freezer. This is a really busy day, so what I like to do is run some water and put some salt in the water, just cold water. And I don't measure, I just dump a whole bunch in there until I think it's good. And sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but I would say like a quarter of a cup of, of salt. It doesn't uh, need to be super salty. We just want to draw out the bugs and I guess it depends on how much water you're using. So I'm just putting these in, trying to make sure all the water is getting into you, all the little air pockets, and I'm just leaving them in the same.
the 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 food that you are preserving via freezing so i like to blanch it so that i like stop any breakdown and to um, contain as much nutrition as possible in the food i'm preserving so um, i've blanched it until it started to get a little bit soft on the outside but remain crunchy on the inside it's 